Hello everyone, I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1 and this is the first installment of Bionic Commando for the NES. This is the walkthrough of the full game on a normal difficulty from start to finish. In these videos, we will learn how to conquer every area and how to obtain all items. With that being said, let's get started. Before we get started on our journey, first let's go over the control scheme of this game. Press left or right on the D-pad to walk. Press down to crouch. Crouching is useful for ducking gunfire or ducking beneath an obstacle. Press the A button to fire the grappling hook. Bionic Commando doesn't have a jump function so you have to rely on the grappling hook to help you move through the air. Once the grappling hook is connected, press left or right to start swinging. Tap down to release your grapple. While swinging, press the A button to reel yourself in. Press the A button again to climb up. Also, press up and the A button to fire the grappling hook straight up. To fire the grappling hook parallel to the ground, press left or right plus the A button. The grappling hook can knock some enemies away and even defeat certain enemies. Learn the grappling hook since 95% of your success is based on using it. Press the B button to fire last gun. You start with the normal gun, but over the course of the game you will unlock many more. The one you use is a personal choice. However, there are several areas you need specific guns in order for you to gain access to. You can use the gun in tandem with the grappling hook. Bullets are used for leveling up in this game, so when you start a new game, you won't have any life energy. But collecting the required amount will grant Lad a new health point. Bullets are dropped from enemies and you can even collect them with your grappling hook. Follow the chart on screen to have a better understanding of the leveling up process. There's eight levels in all. Now let's talk about a few items we can use on our journey. This will grant the player an extra life, so make sure to collect it whenever possible. Grabbing these will replenish your health. It works just like the energy pills except it recovers your health on the spot. Grabbing dust will make an energy orb circle around Lad. The orb will defeat any enemy that comes into contact with it. Sometimes an item box will fall from the sky on a parachute. Shoot or open it with a grappling hook to collect one of the previously mentioned items. Collecting these will grant the player one continue. The Eagle Mark can only be found in the top-down view levels and can be acquired from Jeeps and soldiers with rocket launchers. It's always a good idea to play the top-down levels when you can and to collect continues. Now there are other items to talk about, but we will cover these items as we collect them in this walkthrough. So in this game, you have to use the map to select the areas you like to play. There's 19 areas in all, and 12 of them are actual mission levels. The other 7 represent neutral areas that Lad can explore. In order to 100% the game, it is vital that you pay every single area a visit. Also, the green trucks you see represent enemy travel. So if your helicopter flies over one, you will automatically engage in combat and have to play a top-down level.
On the map, fly to Area 01 and begin the mission. Now select Descend, then choose the normal gun and the red communicator to start the mission. So, Area 01 is the easiest mission in the game. This level is very basic and is straightforward. Go to the right, grapple up to the higher level, and take out the red soldier. These guys don't shoot often, but they will jump down on top of you if you're standing below them. Continue climbing up with the grappling hook, and eventually you'll make your way to the first communications tower. Also, this level is a great training ground to learn the grappling hook, so feel free to come back here to practice. In the communications tower, use the computer to communicate with your colleagues. This is very important because they sometimes offer great advice about the game or can help you open a locked door. Use the wiretapping to eavesdrop on what the enemy army is up to. Sometimes you can get tips from the enemy as well, but take caution as the enemy can launch a surprise attack with an alarm going off. If this happens, quickly make an exit to escape. Now, we're going to use the large lamp poles to make our way across the gap, but first, here's a trick I would like to show you. Well, let me get to a lower position. If you swing like this and get your grappling hook to hook the barrel like this, you can pull yourself up over the barrels. This trick is totally worth it and is a large help, especially in Area 06. Now use the lamp poles to grapple over to the right side. Drop down and take out the rifle soldier, then grapple up to the next level. Make sure to crouch under the enemy's gunfire. Now we have to climb up to the very top of this fortress. Now, let's use that trick to climb to the top of these barrels. Take out the next two rifle soldiers and proceed in the door. Once inside, ride the elevator down the shaft by pressing down. You want to go down two floors, then make your way to the left. Take out the paratrooper, then shoot the electronic device that is powering the energy barrier. Okay, so from here, we're going to make our way to the upper left corner, but first, we're going to use the paratroopers to level up Lad's overall health meter. Make your way upwards and continue to gun down the enemy while collecting bullets. So, let's grab the pile item here. Try your best not to let the red soldier jump on top of you. We just got another health point, so now let's get a few more. Alright, now that we have a few more points, let's head to the left. Take out the last energy barrier and make your way to the boss room. Also, be careful of the bazooka soldier who will take cover and hurl bombs at you. The 
first platoon is led by the enemy commander. To defeat them, simply ignore the commander and take out any soldier in your path as you make your way to the right. Then climb up onto the platform and stand at the left side of it and blast away at the core. Once the core is defeated, you will be rewarded with the energy pills. The energy pills are a lifesaver because it allows you to heal completely but once per life. To activate the energy pills, press the start button.